My name's Matt, by the way. I give you a set of rules. If we follow these rules, it will help us win the match. It's just a video game. I'm gonna oh! outplay everyone. I'm gonna out Do you like Crim6? Caterpillar going crazy on them! What's going on, everybody? Today, I'm going undercover on Fiverr. Shouts out to Jack in the Box for sponsoring the video. I'm looking for a professional Call of Duty coach to teach me some hard point. I'm using a voice changer. Hopefully, he doesn't know who I am. Let's get into it. Hey, how's it going, Matt? Yo, what's up? Nothing much, dude. Uh, just, uh, you know, the holiday season. Absolutely, man. I'm looking to get a little bit better at hard point. I'd like to play a couple games of that. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so the best part about this is after our session today, I can go ahead and send it over. Paris Legion? Yeah, man. I'm rocking the Paris Legion, bro. No way, Paris Legion. Are you serious? So I understand you want to get better at Hardpoint, but what's your ultimate goal? Are you trying to compete in the CDL or just, you know, be better than your friends in Mosh Pit? I would say, honestly, just be better. I mean, I'm not that good. Fundamentals. Okay, I got you. Yeah. Um, yeah, no problem. So uh, we can for sure go over the fundamentals of Hardpoint. Uh, before we get to that, I'd like to ask you, uh, how's your, uh, like, personal gameplay with mechanics, aiming, uh, positioning, movement. How, how's all that? From a 1 to 10, I'd probably say my aim is like a 4. Okay. My movement is nothing crazy. I'd probably say I'm around a 4 across the board, I'd say. Okay, is that a 4 out of 5? Uh, no. 4 out of 10. All right, no problem. So I just want to give you a quick uh, rundown on my coaching. Um, Ideally, I'm here to offer a new perspective and guide you uh, towards, you know, your journey. Essentially, I give you a set of rules. If we follow these rules, it will help us win the match. And then over time, we're going to learn to break those rules and find our play style and find our, our own way to play Call of Duty. My name's Matt, by the way. Yeah, yeah, of course. Uh, sorry. Um, so my name is uh, Elias. Uh, that's my legal middle name. Um, but my first name is Devin. So... Cool. However you'd like to call me. <laughs> Sweet. Nice to meet you, Devin. You ready to hop into a game? Absolutely. Let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, one thing I want to ask you again. Um, is your goal uh, on being better, is that more kills to you and you don't care about the win? Or is it you just want to like win every map no matter what it takes? Uh, I'd prefer to win every map no matter what it takes, honestly. I love that. But also, like, I do want to get kills because... I feel like kills are all that people really look at nowadays. They don't really, they don't really respect the OBJ anymore. You know, I heard absolutely. Man. It's not the end of the world. Oh, oh no, dang it, dude! I wish. Ah, uh, so that's ah. Uh, sorry, uh, today has been sporadic, so I kind of like forgot to mention this. But usually, I'd have you share your screen over Discord, so I can check out how you're. You know, like damn, dude! I wish I had my screen pulled up. <laughs> nice two piece. Nice two piece. Uh, these hey, guys brother. should be spawning on your left. Inside that building towards your left. Inside that oh, building towards your oh. left. Yeah, okay. Oh, Sorry, I don't see teammates him. on there. Yeah, I don't see him. I think we <laughs> I think we may have flipped spawns. Am I saying that correctly? Yeah, you are absolutely saying that correct. Um a few oh. indicators on if we flip spawns is look at your minimap. If your teammates are spawning in the opposite direction, there you go. <laughs> They're spawning uh, in the opposite direction, so my friends have been trying to get me into game battles matches, but I just don't want to get in there and like lose i mean basically i mean i just think that i would get working hey this is the best advice i can give it's good to lose it is good to fail and just block out the noise because if you block out the noise and all you do is lose eventually you can learn from that you play against the best players and then you copy and paste what they're doing and you just climb the ladders that way so i i encourage you to play gps well usually lose i've heard a quote that says losing is learning winning is easy mm. so that that does yes. that does make sense so the enemies are spawning towards your left in the building once you kill this guy off hill dead and now you can go middle once you get middle look towards your right and they uh -huh. should be coming through that alleyway and your left so yeah okay, you have two angles right there nice but so start your middle covered right I, now I, keep, I, keep looking that hallway i have your middle covered okay i see what you're saying with that. the with the primary spawns it seems like it seems like these are pretty consistent so you said you like, uh, who do you like again? I'm sorry, I was kind of focused up there for a second. Yeah, so uh, I was a huge fan of uh, like Optic because they were first 
inside of my like, competitive. Yeah. And then FaZe joined. I, you know, followed those two just because, you know, they're like the giants of esports. So, of course, I followed both of them. Uh -huh. uh, but, man, Envy, dude. So, the second that Optic, uh, you know, Optic and Envy merged, uh -huh. uh, the second that happened. Wait, when I, did that happen? Uh, Optic and Envy merged uh, literally about a year ago, I believe. I was a big fan of uh, Envy or Dallas Empire, and then oh, once Optic yeah. took over Envy and Dallas Empire, I was just like, "All right, I'm. I guess I'm all Optic now." <laughs> you like you like Crim Six? I don't really I don't really like that guy. I think he's an asshole. Oh, you know, I I let people live their lives. I I can't judge. It yeah. is what it is. Yeah, I'm that's... not gonna. That's yeah. a good way to go about it. <laughs> Going back to like how I have a bunch of rules for my coaching, uh, one of those things is your mini map. You should really work towards building your mini map retention. Yeah. And looking at that mini map every three seconds. Every three seconds. Because okay. every three seconds, your teammates are always telling you a story on what's happening on the map. I like that. I like that. It tells a story of what's going on in the map. I actually, I like that. So if you look at your mini map, and if you can visualize four quadrants. The quadrant. empty quadrant is where the enemy is spawning. Ah, okay. So right okay. Now, okay. So yeah, I see. So they're yeah. spawning like back left right now because nobody's. They're literally on you. There's they nowhere literally else on you. Yeah, there's nowhere else <laughs> they could even be. Do you watch any uh, COD streamers? I really like. Uh, I really like TP. Oh, dude. Yeah, I love TP. So uh, TP was kind of like. When I was first getting into Warzone, uh, for sure, TP with tips is like the first uh, thing I started watching. Uh -huh. And. Uh, that's what initially got me into Warzone. Everything he said was gospel, basically, is what I'm trying to get across. <laughs> got you. Yeah, no, he's the man. I feel like he's, like, he's just a cool guy, you know? And he's pretty damn good, too. So I like to watch him to, like, learn. I mean, it doesn't really help. I'm getting a little bit older. My hands don't really work the same, but... I hear that a lot, and, like... I feel like a lot of that is true. I can completely see how, like, you have hand issues. Yeah, I'm, I'm uh, a CPA, so... Just, I, I'm on the keyboard a lot, so my hands kind of go through that. Okay. Um, I got yeah, 30 so... kills. I only got one second in time, though. I, <laughs> I I might be a little nervous. I don't know. I usually am o only in the hill. Uh, it, we won. That's what matters, though. That's all that matters at the end of the day, yeah. right? Uh, should I run it up this game? I feel like I run it up this game, go insane, and then I tell him after this game. I'm down for that. Yeah. I like that. Because like he, he says that he's like a, he likes Optic, like he likes TP. Oh, shit. He okay. said he was a huge fan of Dallas Empire. So yeah. run it up this game, it's Embassy too, so I can like... Perfect. Okay, yeah, do it. Okay. All right, I'm back. I'm sorry about that. I had to get my coffee, man. I can't... Without my coffee, I ain't just... I can't do it. Ooh, Embassy, the pros play this map. And of course, you know, like, it's interesting because when it comes to esports, you need an ego to compete. I feel like I'd have a, a hard time working with a team because I'm pretty hard headed. I'm not going to lie. So when my buddies hit me up to play, I'm just like, I just don't want to ruin our friendship because I'm very, very competitive. And, you know, I don't, I don't want to make my boys mad at me. You know what I'm saying? I'm kind of having a good game right here. I'm getting some some easy kills at the moment. Oh yeah, you're popping off. You're yeah, I'm having kills. A, yeah, I'm having a pretty solid game at the moment. Yeah, and oh, the beauty the beauty about this map is the spawns are very like, you know, quadratic. Of yeah. Just, if you're spawning in the empty quadrant. You're good. You can keep spawn trapping them. Yeah, exactly. I'm just I'm just uh -uh. sitting in these hallways, just eating them alive right now. Absolutely, and I'm trying to anchor to make sure we don't flip out. Oh, okay. Uh, I've heard that term just, before. Okay, we need an anchor so we don't flip spawns. Yeah. Um, well, at least with this recent update. It's, it's just a video game at the end of the day. You know, I'm just trying to have a good time. I'm trying to get in there and, and get moving. Oh, absolutely. Oh. Absolutely. Get him. You got my... Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> my gosh. Getting peppered. Yeah, yeah. You should for sure uh, try out um, oh. CDL Mosh Pit right now then. CDL uh, Mosh Pit. I don't think I'm ready for that, honestly. I think you are. You're... You're fine, bro. You're popping off right now in this public match. There's no difference. It's just another public match. These guys are getting blown out, by the way. I didn't even realize the score. It's 132 to 9. Yeah. What? Yeah, dude. I was just... I, honestly, bro, I've just been sitting here staring at my big map. Oh. And I'm just, just watching you tear oh. up right now. Oh. oh. Wait, this guy's in the hill. Not anymore. Oh, they're spawning. They're spawning over at that low left. Oh, nice. The Caterpillar. The Caterpillar going crazy. There you go. Caterpillar's going nuts right now. 
<laughs> Yo, you're single-handedly carrying us. Let's do it, bro. Caterpillar yeah, going crazy on him. Keep it, keep it right there. Ooh, that guy just hit some really good shots. What the heck? Nah, bro, you have the passion. You for sure should be playing some CDL Moshpit because that's another thing. It's You should really encourage and compliment your opponents, you know? Like, yeah. give credit where credit is due. <laughs> I don't want to go in there and embarrass myself and, and hurt my confidence. I'm I'm an older dude. You know, I'm sitting here right now, and I will tell you, I've been doing this for two years. Most of my students that find the most success are the older generation. Really? Um, and I think it's a it's a mindset thing. It is quite literally a mindset of, it's just a video game. I'm gonna oh! outplay everyone. I'm gonna outshoot everyone like you are doing right now. You can do that against pros too. The caterpillar. If they bleed, they can be killed. Am I right? Hey, how do you have all these quips, man? I'm playing with Spider-Man right now. I don't know, dude. I'm trying my best. I'm going for a kill record right now, actually. Yeah, okay, go for a kill record. I'm I'm getting out of the hard point. I'll keep him off of it. Oh! Oh, well, I have to stay on, too. Dang, all right. Yeah, you're good. You're good. Don't worry about it, man. Oh, okay, all right. We got, we'll get this dub. I'll put my controller down, and there's the GG. Let's go, dude. Bro, Yo, that's a... uh... I don't know if you can Wait. realize, but it's... Oh, my lordy, the king. Yeah. I don't... The literal king. I don't know if you can realize, like, we, we tried to put a voice changer on and everything, no, but... bro, I couldn't tell. Did you tell that it was, like, someone not not who I was saying? Uh, through the gameplay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> with, with the second, you're like, yeah, just, you know, some fundamentals, just basics. I don't know much. And then you started frying. I was like, no, no. <laughs> Obviously, I've heard of like Fiverr, but it's it's pretty cool. Like this is a thing. Yeah, no, I, uh, I I've been doing this for about two years. Uh, I kind of got lucky. Uh, I just made an account and just started getting traction. Oh, cool. Um, and then from there, from there, I was just like, you know what, dude? I can make this a full time thing. Like this is my, I guess, escape from reality. And cool. uh, I just full sent, and I'm still working hard every day on it. Uh, Hell yeah! Sure. If you want to shout out, like. Anything you got going on, please, now's the time. Yeah, so my Twitter is Elias underscore. My YouTube and Fiverr is Elias D, where I post most of these coaching sessions. And then uh, upcoming in January 1st, I have my own Discord uh, with a subscription-based system where you can have access to all of the hardpoint spawns, the rotations, and we even break down pro player gameplay and talk about their rotation, their breaks, their setups why they work, and uh, how they work. All right, brother. It's been a pleasure. Thanks so much. I hope you have a great holiday. Pleasure meeting you. Uh, safe travels. Yeah, thanks, bro. You too. All right, that was an absolute pleasure. Really, really cool guy. Make sure you check out some of his socials, some of his channels. Uh, and if you guys ever do need coaching, I think that that was definitely beneficial. Obviously, I was undercover and kind of went rogue on it. And again, a huge thanks to Jack in the Box for sponsoring the video. Make sure you guys go take down some of those mini talks. Thanks, guys.